Alright, let's try this again. So have you ever seen a picture of your favorite ship and went, Man, I wish I could build this in Minecraft. But you look up a tutorial and there's no tutorials on, or you disliked using tutorials and you'd rather make your own build? Well, this build series is gonna show you how to make your own Ocean Niner in Minecraft from real life. So, here's my unfinished Lusitania I'm working on here. And, uh, it's, I, I just think it's finished enough for me to show what types of detail I'll be going in, like this deck, for example. So, we'll be going in a pretty decent amount of detail. Uh, so, with that out of the way, the first two episodes are going to be making the frame. So, the first episode is going to be making the shape of the ship, and then the second episode will be doing the hull sculpting there. Showing you how to do that. I might even include rigging at some point on how to do rigging. It's actually pretty simple. But with that out of the way, let's get to the build area. So, I would like to mention I started recording this yesterday, but I had a problem with the recording software, so it didn't record. So, I'll be doing this again. So. Yay! Uh, so I'll be showing, I'll be building the Olympic. You see what I did yesterday here. And I will be going through how to build the Olympic. So, this is what I got yesterday. You could definitely see an Olympic class ship. Uh, and I used a set of Titanic deck plans, and I'm just making the differences accordingly. Like this shape here. Uh, Titanic had the same shape, but it had a little, like, cover on it, which means from above it wouldn't have went in here. Yeah, with that out of the way, uh, this might be a little wonky, because, uh, I already did it, and I don't feel like, uh, downloading the deck plans and rebuilding it all from scratch. So I'm going to end up, um, basically explaining how I do it and showing you. So, I guess there's not much else to comment on, so this is what I'll be showing you how to do today. So I guess we get into it. And first things I want to go over is you're going to want to, uh, if you don't want to rip your hair out, you're going to want a mod called World Edit. It makes things so much easier. Although I wouldn't say it's strictly a requirement, it would make things way easier. I have seen it done without World Edit, and it is a lot more impressive done without World Edit, but it also looks a bit of a pain, so... It really all depends what you want to do. So, I'm going to lay a keel. It's going to be the first block of my keel, and what we're going to do is we're going to be, uh... It's just going to be a line of gray, but this is the time you choose the scale of your ship. So if you want one to one, uh, you d you want to figure out how many meters long your ship is, and then you want to make that uh, that many blocks long. So if your ship's 210 meters, you want to make it 210 blocks long for one to one scale. Um, so basically. That means uh, you would build this 210, so I'll do stack 209, and that's how long your ship would be in 1 to 1. Uh, I'm going to be making the Olympic in pretty much my own scale, which I usually like to take the uh, ship's length and divide it by 2, so for example, 882 feet, which is how long the Olympic was, divided by 2 is 240, 200, oh, dumb, is 441. So, 882 divided by 2 is 441. So, we're going to actually stack 440, since this is the first block here. And that's going to be the length of my ship. Okay. So, next I'm going to want to show you how to scale your deck plans. So you're going to want to go copy and paste a set of deck plans from the internet that you like in the paint. 
and it would be helpful if it included a profile of your ship as well. Okay, so here we are in paint. I have a set of uh, Titanic deck plans. We're going to be using these today due to their uh, brilliantly laid out... Uh, basically, it's in color and it's laid out brilliantly. So, this is a good start. So, what I you want to do now is basically select from the very tip of the bow to the very tip of the stern to the very tip of the top of the mast, like this. And you want to copy paste and I like to resize this so we're gonna want this to be 441 blocks long so that's gonna be our scale for our deck plan so we can just open another instance of paint and put it in and there is our set of deck plans so I'm gonna save these for ease and then I'll be back with you okay so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to use a uh, your line tool and I like to do it in red and I'm just gonna draw a line here like this and then I like to use the pencil icon you can see how jittery this looks so we wanna trace but if we trace it's gonna look all wonky and jittery like that that doesn't look too good so also I'm deleting stuff so what you wanna do is you wanna do this in like the smoothest way possible so, for example, you want to make sure this ends up being pretty smooth. Like this. And there you go. So you can see you got a nice smooth sweeping curve here and you could adjust this accordingly to what you feel. So that's what we're going to do there. So next we want to figure out how tall is the anti-fouling red section going to be. So use your line tool, drag it up and you will see it ends up being 19 blocks high. So we're going to go back into Minecraft and we're just going to, I'm going to make it 18. So this is the first block, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and there's 19. So 19 high. And then we're going to go twenty-six high. So one two. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and there's 26. So we got 26 high, so we're going to put our colors in now. So that's going to be our Folksal deck, and we're going to want to get some uh, yellow terracotta for my in my case. I like to use yellow terracotta because it allows me to, or it doesn't allow me, I just think it's a nicer color than yellow concrete, which is obnoxiously bright. Alright, so next, we're gonna want to, uh, be, we're gonna want to, um, do the curvature of the hull, so, what I like to do is we're gonna just use the, use the select tool, I can't speak today, we're gonna count 12 down. And then we're gonna do a row of what after going 12 down? 14. So we're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's hard to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're gonna do a row of 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's a row of 14 just like this and then it's gonna be a row of six so one two switch to red three four five six and then it's gonna be four one two three four and then six rows of two
and then it's going to be back four, which actually I could have made that three, so now is also a good time to change something if you wish. So back two, and then four, five, five. So we're, I'm going to do that. All right. Then a row of six, and then I will end up going for a row of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's our shape. So now we could delete the keel from this point here. So we could delete our keel. And we can delete anything that doesn't need to be here, is what I'll do. And alright, there's your curvature for your ship. So that looks pretty decent to me, although I don't like the top part. So now is the chance, now that it's in-game, you can adjust things accordingly. Just like that. And, yeah, that looks a bit nicer to me. So, that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Alright. So, now, we're going to want to build our Folksel deck. So, we're going to use our line tool here. And kind of just work out where our shear is going to be. So, I'm going to draw a line where I think it should be, which I think right here looks nice. So, with that, I can actually count how many blocks back it should be. So, for example, 11. You can see the number there. We're going to go 11 back. And I'm going to use wood because that's what the deck's going to be made of. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's your 11th block. All right. Now, we are going to go for 35. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and there's your 35th. Alright, and then... I wrote a 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that's going to be your folk soul. So you can see actually a little longer than the one I have over there, but that's fine. Because I... It's just the way I did that. It's close enough. Alright, and now... Every deck with the scale I'm doing is going to be five blocks high, so you could have a ceiling and then three blocks of space and then your floor, like this. So ceiling and floor. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, because this is your uh, block, your fifth block. So this will be yellow, or eventually it'll even be this color when we get to that. But for now, that's what it's going to be. So, yeah. Next it's gonna we're gonna do the well deck, which is gonna be twenty-seven long. So from the back of that wall. So here's the first block right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. There's your twenty seventh block. And then we'll do 28th because the superstructure goes up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> Alright. And then we'll have a row of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright. 
and then since I know how high this deck is going to be because it's 5 decks box high I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for this deck 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 1, 2, 3, 4 and a half for the bridge alright so Basically, this is all we're doing at the moment, is shaping out the ship. So from this point, we want to know from this block, how many blocks long to the end of this deck is it going to be? And I'm counting... So, we're going to do that. So we're going to use the deck plan here, go from the center, because it makes sense. We're going to go to the end of this deck here, and your total is going to be 246 blocks long, so our deck's going to be here, alright, so I'm going to go for like this, and this is the first two, so it's actually going to be 244, so stack two. Stack 244. Alright. And that's going to be how long this deck here is going to be. So, I'm going to put our block here. And then we're going to count down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then here's 5. So that's our next deck. And this deck is going to end up being. 26. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and this is 26. I'm going to go block, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this is 2 decks high, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you can see the scaling difference, which I find pretty interesting between these two. So depending on the deck plans, each are different, you're still going to get a ship that looks close enough. Alright, and now our poop deck. Or, not poop deck yet. So our well deck is going to be 20. So, this is our first block here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'm to 21 for this. Because this is going to go 5 high. Alright, now what you want to do is go up and kind of just mark out the shear again. So the stern shear is usually shorter than the bow shear. Uh, on the Olympic class, I think it was the same, but I don't really care to make it the same, so we're going to make it shorter which is going to be 22 well, no it's not, I'm dumb, never mind, I can't count I need to go from here to here and that's going to be 31 long alright and then 22 There's your stern, right there. So, I am a few blocks over. I'm not really concerned about that. Because you should be if it happens to you, but I'm not going to be concerned because this is only... I already did it once. I don't really feel like caring about doing it again. And then you're going to make your stern shape just the same way we did the bow. You're just going to copy it down. So I can kind of give you an idea how to do that. I'm going to use our line tool. And we're just going to copy it. So, for example, it's going to be three and then two, 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 three rows of two. So, one, two, three, and then two, 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 and two. And you can make it black, the colors, then. So. And you're just copying the lines. Uh, if you get the jitteriness, you smooth it out. 
and yeah so next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna do the shape of the bat and we're gonna go down and start drawing out the shape of our bow so like this and you can kind of trace it until you feel like it should get longer you want to make it get longer as it goes back although you don't want to make it get longer too quick and then you touch it up as necessary so like that. I think that's gonna, that'll do good enough for me. So we're gonna go 2-2, two, two. so then we're gonna, we're gonna row 2 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 rows of 3. So 2 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you're gonna wanna kinda make this go down with your shear as well. I don't know why my blocks are going invisible, but I'm not too concerned about that for now. And then fours. So one, two, three, and then two rows of five. Three rows of four, two rows of five. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Alright. So it's actually going to be four rows of five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then it's going to be six, seven, probably eight. Yep. We're going to go six, seven, eight. One, two, two, three. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then it's gonna be a row of eight, which we got. A row of eleven, and then a row of sixteen. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then a block. It's gonna be our widest point of our ship right here. So you can see we have the shape we want built up. So we're gonna do the same thing on the stern. So, we're going to get our tool again, and by tool I mean the pencil tool, we're going to just go down and find the center block, and we're just going to trace it along, and if you get the jitteriness, try to smooth it out, I'm doing this very sloppily, uh, you might want to take your time a bit more with this, but you get the idea, so it's going to be five four and then how many rows of two one two three four five rows of two five four and five rows of two so this is the first block two three four five and then four one two three four and then five rows of two one two three four five all right and it's going to be one, two, three rows of three and two rows of four. So this is technically our first block, the first row feet, so two. And then this is our second row, third block, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or two rows of four. 
All right, and then I'll use the select tool. So six, nine, twelve, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, twenty. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So you can see I missed this year. So this is also another way you could do it, and you could just come back later and shape it. And sometimes this is easier, depending on the ship. Depending on the type of person or the type of way you want to do it, it could be easier or harder. And if you don't have world edit, you're gonna want to do this on both sides right away. I'm just gonna flip it with world edit because I'm lazy. And uh, we're gonna put a block out here because this should be our row that connects up with that. So say yellow terracotta, and there you go. Alright, so now we're going to want to do like the superstructures. So, we can do this now. And we could go over like this. And since the Olympic class is superstructures flat, I don't really need to care about this deck specifically. I can just go like this, and boom. Uh, if you have a rounder superstructure, you just use the line tool and kind of figure out the shape. Uh, I'll basically show you how to do it on the stern, because this uh, deck house here has an interesting shape. Alright. So, alright. So find the shape of our deck house. And then we're just going to copy this, so... It's going to be a row of eight. See that? So we're doing a row of eight. So we're going to find our deck. So four block deck because this is a ceiling block. And eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then how many rows of two? One, two, three, four, five, six rows of two. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're just going to drag this out to the side. So that's our first deck of our superstructure laid out. So set smooth quartz. I personally prefer smooth quartz over white concrete or regular quartz because smooth quartz doesn't have those ugly uh, lines and uh, white concrete is more, it's just a kind of a dull boring color so yeah I don't typically like to do it anyway so for this next deck here this is going to be the promenade deck here we're laying out so we're going to just go flat again but we have to make sure to remember to overhang it by a block because that's the way the Olympic class is it has the overhanging promenades not every ship has it the Lusitania and the Mauritania did which is interesting but Lusitania did not so yeah so now we're gonna trace this next deck so this deck's a little different in a way so I'm just simply going to trace it like this. Alright, so I'm going to go out 7 or 6 because we have to first block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
Alright, and then we're gonna go back. 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then 6. And I'll do this right away. 10, because I forgot that. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then, because this is the first block, and then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then, we're just going to take this, drag it out to the sides, overhang it by a block. And then, this is our next deck. <laughs> okay. So, we have uh, this deck, now it's the deck with the bridge, so this has a different shape, this isn't just flat, so I actually have to put in some work, I know that would suck. Alright, so, we're just going to copy this over now, so it's going to be 10, 3, 2, 2, 3, out to the side, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, then 3, 2, 2, 3, and then out to the side. Now, on the old Titanic, this would overhang, but on the Olympic, at least in 1911, it didn't. It didn't. Uh, I believe they changed that in the 1913 refit, but by 1911, they didn't. At the stern now, do the same thing. So we're going to go 17, and then 9. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then we're going to go back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then out to the sides. Like this. Alright. Nor any noise. People are working on a house next door. Alright, we're going to set smooth chords. So. Here's your first three decks. You can see your ship taking shape. So the boat deck's interesting. I'm only gonna show you how to do this deck house. I'll leave the rest to use. Cause uh, it's all the same. So we got the We're gonna start with the bridge, so. So there's our deck house shape. And for the bridge, the bridge is going to be the same on both sides, so it's actually going to be uh, seven either side at a bridge. We're going to use uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then it's going to be back fourteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and this is the back of the bridge, so. We can go like this, and then it's going to be two out the side, well actually it's going to be more than two, it's going to be six, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to go back, forty-seven, so, uh, yeah. There's 47. It's gonna be two out, and it's gonna be 18 long. So one, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Then we're gonna go in nine. We're gonna go in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. First block. And then 24. And then we're just going to draw into the center. Because we're going to actually go to this side here and do the exact same thing. I'm going to use world edit though. Copy. Flip left. Because uh, this side of the deck house is fairly simple. And I'm going to 
will just come like this. So the grand staircase actually raises up like um, half a block. So I should have actually. We don't know what that. Uh, you can see where it raises up here with this line. So replace smooth quartz slab with smooth quartz. Can't type today. All right. There you have it, and it's basically just copying it all the way along. So that's basically it. I'm gonna flip the ship, show you what we did, and then I'll call it there. Part two will be a bit more in depth because I won't have to do it a second time. All right, so we're just gonna go so let's just copy, flip right, paste. There it is. Although it got the deck house, which I didn't want, so I will fix that. Because the Olympic class is unsymmetrical, which is dumb. It makes these ships kind of look weird from some angles. People called Lusitania unsymmetrical. I don't think they looked at the Olympic class's boat deck, because this seems all unsymmetrical. But that's going on a bit of a rant. We'll not go there. Alright, and here we have our ship. So, again, to do the rest of the deck houses is simply trace with the lines tool. Count how many blocks. It's one pixel in paint is one block in Minecraft with the scale I'm doing. You want to scale your deck plans to be one pixel per block in the scale you want. And, but you draw a red line because it can be blurry, you count it, and it's 18, so you make it 18 long. So that's your 18 right there. And just keep doing that. So, that's really about it. So, uh, if you have any questions, I guess you could leave a comment. Not that. I'll try to reply as quick as possible, but really not much to it. Uh, so, yeah. In the next episode, I will show you how to do the hull, but uh, next episode, I'll be using this model here. This one's actually a bit taller. Uh, I personally prefer to look at this one here. So, we're gonna go for this one. But,. Yeah, I will show you how to do the hull next time. And then we can move on from there. So, I guess the third part will be starting the superstructure. We'll get the main bulk up. The promenade deck layout we'll get in. And we'll put the decks in. And we'll get the main bulk. And then the fourth part will be starting on the details. Oh, this should probably only be about ten parts. So, yep. Yeah. I will see you guys later.